Paradise. Got you. down there for a storm bird. And next up is a thunder jaw. Actually I lit that fire and met that and killed that thunder jaw last video. I went and got myself an egg timer, but this thing, there's a reason why I wanted to find the one that you wind. These battery operated ones don't last. Junk. It looks like something else frozen hit him. And a Thunder Jaw trophy. You know, it'll probably be, it probably won't take as long if I just ride there. Considering how long the loading screen is.
Yeah, I can skip past the entire. Let's get past, uh. The stones if I just head this way. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna go past that shrine, though. That's gonna trigger some dialogue. So make sure you remember this for later. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. Sun King. Each page of the screen is crammed with glyph text in a messy, hastily etched hand. Yeah, I can imagine whoever was writing this down probably was not very well liked by the king. By the king. I swear I saw. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, the let's talk it over. Of all now, like I said... Huh. And within, like the greatest of... You have trophies? I can hang- Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. No, I saw some- I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? Hmm, you might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shaft. Have you found Talana? I'm working on it. Who else just became a th Ardic. I see him rising to the top very quickly. What will you say when I bring in a Thunderjaw trophy? That's a wonderful goal. Perhaps you can have our Can you tell me what happened? A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundom. Even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. For that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sun ring. I shouldn't say more. Please. Normally, victims of the sun ring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. 
They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed. What happened in the sun ring? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slow. Will the sun ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it, just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one, as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. Assis said that he'd find Red Maw southeast of here. Ooh. Those will come in handy. Like I said before, Red Maw is essentially just a regular Thunderjaw. But the deal is this guy's got twice the health that a normal one does. can bring down the main machine, she will become Sunhawk, as this will do anything to prevent that from happening. Did a cease pay you? That sounds like her. There's no two ways about it. It's just fun setting shit on fire. Of course, all these idiots decide to just line up for my flamethrower. Would've been nice if one of them had a health potion on them, but whatever. Alright. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Red Maw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Red Maw. This way. Hurry! Why 
Why is the Cease going after Red Maw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Red Maw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat a Cease. Pretty sure, ta pretty sure Tarkus just never got her. Pretty sure that somebody was supposed to tell her, and Tarkus made sure they didn't. Oh, I'm not sure where Asis and Redma went from here. I can follow their tracks. Notice, ordinarily you see a person. This way. Red Maw destroyed these trees. Tarkus wanted you with him. But now all you see, you know, well, is just his big footprint. For you, but someone, probably a cease, neglected to share the news. He stole even that from me. But as much as I'm glad to know what really happened, I fear we're too late. The Tarkus, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. And with my father, I didn't even get that. Where was Assis when your father passed? Watching. He became Sunhawk that day. I won't even speak of the event that made it possible. That all changes today. Yeah. Once his ass can. Hmm? There he is. Red Maw. The Yellow Thunder Jar doesn't follow. Cease is holding his own. Was. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us. First things first, I want Come that on. cannon. of the crown of his head. If you look carefully, you can see it just flashing just above his eyes. That's the weak spot of a thunder jaw. By the sun, we did it. Now, out of curiosity, what am I gonna get? Nothing much. They're beautiful. We make hmm. a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. You're done. 
The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive. In dark times. Bullshit. No. You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmore first. To soften him up. Yeah. Then all that would have happened was this need to kill you when you tried to kill her. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. <laughs> After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. Okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Just, think, just to let y'all know, she will walk off a distance and then just stop walking. Kind of like a uh, Brin. Then you'll come back later. Be, she'll be gone. Hm. Sun's making a show of it. But what matters is. Different idea. Let's see what happens when I try to go to the Marillion Village. How long does that take? Then I can just take the Great Elevator up to the city itself. It takes literally at least a whole minute of loading before we can get from one place to another within the city. Let's see how long this takes. That's one thing I don't get. It says that, take, that they keep taking damage for as long as the fire burns, but you can't, like, restoke the fire. The when you're in the thick of it. Don't Mind forget to stock up before you're on the road. Up before you're on the road. Well, once the fire goes out, once the fire's lit, you can't, like, restoke it. Excuse me. Check out these wares. Sure as the sun's rising, he's off courting that noble girl. Don't forget to stop. Some Oseron girl applied road. to the city guard the other day. Amazing. Check out these this is the great elevator that Petra talked about. You can imagine. All this made by all this hand wrought. The one thing I'm not sure about. Is this really all made of copper? Perhaps. It's copper, the same way that they get turned green and they literally get over here. But this is all brass. And for stars, it's stuck this thing away literally a ton. More likely, probably three or four tons. And of course, it's controlled by the chains up there. Each of them a counterweight. See those weights down there? Uh, what pulls the elevator up. But there's another one on the opposite side. That way there's one that pulls it up, and then that pulls down another. And then the other one, and then to reverse it, the other one goes up, and then the other, and the one that went down goes up before. Okay, no, that didn't make sense. Ah. Uh, one of the things that sucks is that, you know, I'm good at showing and explaining things, but with words... Alright. 
They don't warn you, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue. But what do you want the Sun King to do? Hawk, Radovan, Khan, Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk, Talavad, Khan, Padish. The Sunhawk is father. waiting for you upstairs. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters. Oh, all one thing. to follow. Record of Red Maw. Fresh ink. In time, all creatures fall, all legends fall away. Such a wish was Red Maw, deadliest of Thunder Jaws. Fearing that Talana would take Red Jaw first and thus supplement it as Sunhawk, as these resorted to treachery, laying a trap for the Hawk. Nine mercenaries ambushed, six shot, and three blasted. That's not true. They were all set up. It was more like three blasted and six shot and six set on fire. <laughs> Just arrived, the legendary monster took a cease down. Out <sighs> of uh, fight with a lash of the tail. Working together, it's the same crushed internal organs, evidence of bowel failure. In other words, he shit himself. What do you go shit himself? Now, for the dialogue. This was all, I always hear that one line. Hell of a view. Where am I looking at too? Look. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the sun. What was that prayer you were? Oh, greats, give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Hawk, Gravid, Khan, Mors, Hawk, Usalin, Karn, Jagir, Hawk, Bradavan, Khan, Padish, Cherished Brother, let their memory and sacri- What happens now? In a Sunhawk, this lodge will be a stale bastion of- So, it feels like- What happens now? A Sunhawk, this lodge will- Well, thank you, Aloy. Did- <laughs> May you always take your prize. I have been accepting trophies all day. Oh, you know, another day, another parade of machines to defeat. <laughs> I look forward to hearing tales of your next... Alright, now like I said, a moment's peace. Got a skill point and a nice spot. Not too bad. I can definitely check out the new camp before I need to go and start selling things. Let's see here. No, there. I can fast travel there. Oh! Damn it. Now I feel like a three-year-old. I just literally dribbled all over myself. Bruh. All right. Anyway. Just a quick thing, get rid of some of the stuff I know for a while I'm not gonna need.
All right. Might regret this. Razors or lance horns. All right. and lots of games, if you got the patience to dig it up. And we we'll get to it before those bloody scavengers go and eat everything. I wonder. You see all these things with the Banuke, and they're always so brightly colored. Is it because of where they come from in Ban Or everything is either, you know, black, brown, or white. Black stone, brown trees, or of course, white snow. 
looks like they try to insert as much color as possible. This has to be the belief that the Golden told me about. See what happened to the other mercenaries he sent. The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Some other wear axe after our herd. And just like every, just like any other character, you can't actually hurt them. Some other Warax after our herd will claim first blood, but it'll require cunning. It's like they have four or five people repeat the same sentence. Shoot, they even have a Ravager. The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines, earn the spirit's favor. Skill hunts like ours. We should get back out of the herd if we want to maintain our. Standing this close to a ravager. Ah. To see these machines up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. The challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't Ch that a good thing? Tikuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. Huh. I can feel myself growing old. I will not let this ravager out of my sight. I must get good snow now. <laughs> I can feel myself growing old. I will not let this ravager out of my sight. I must get good snow now. Considering that this thing literally killed a friend of hers, and then is just now standing here doing nothing, that is a little foreboding. <laughs> Wait, a Thunderjaw? Is there any merchant around here? We should have north. North where the ice and snow calls. In fact, a Saluki is about the oldest known breed of domesticated dog, as far as I know. Bred in Egypt. Kind of like a greyhound, but not quite. Let's see what we can get out of him. Shaman. My studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the Aren't you a little bear to be this far Not north? just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world? The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Perhaps the machines are glad to be separated from their herds, too. The I've machines looked into the blue light favor. and only found more questions. It is my hope there are more places like this. I could go to them alone. Huh. 
have, I believe, this skull here. She said tiptoe. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all... I, I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. We don't really know. We sing and we listen. The machines... To each other. You are a hunter. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered what song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside? How can we heal the machine? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen huh. face. But no, huh. it was the Thunder Jaws song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving. And I, when the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell. Or perhaps so we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. That means that this thing is still technically functional. And there's a very real chance that if someone were to give it a bit of a kickstart, it might actually be able to start back up. T. Cook, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Huh. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. Do you mind if I... Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No so it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. Nora. Tikuk, there was... It's been Our machine bone chimes echo the songs. Will the spirit long help and hard ice? Let's see. Anybody else to talk to? Nope. Remember her. We'll see her later. May the machine spirits grant you favor. Hmm. Sources at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it. Almost impossible to see because of the light. Huh. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. I'm assuming the hunt will be easier just because the land is warm. The hunt demands full preparation. <laughs> True. <laughs> just means there are more things, more difficult, sometimes more varied things to hunt. Proven biological fact. Things get stockier and less numerous when it comes to a colder location. Why the heck are the handholds? Some way up this mountain, I just can't find it. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. Now, it leads up here and there. The path has to lead to it, you just gotta know how to follow the path. further north. Why in the world? Oh, I gotta get up there. Hmm? Ah, uh, for a second I thought I saw a package. You gotta remember, they might live further north, but it doesn't necessarily You gotta remember, they live further north, doesn't necessarily mean they live at a higher elevation. You're having a hard time breathing because. The blood hawks are just waiting. Good sign, I guess. Someone's been up here recently. Is that racist? Chopping shard purses. You can't just leave us here. <laughs> Did Vilgan send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliffe for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. Huh. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well... That's a fair appraisal. <laughs> hey, at least they were... At least they were trying to stop everything from happening. Don't forget, they were got, they were tied up because they were trying to do the right thing. Garnund and Dorgild. What do you let the rope slip for, you bunch of chuff skulls? The slack was on your end. I think it's okay. Looks like it's okay, doesn't it? It's only split in half. Uh. Get a whiff of that smoke. It's burned out. Let's see. How you stop hitting it? I can't scan it. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. Huh. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget <laughs> it. All you've ever given me is black toes. 
they've made a mess of this. Processor, processor of function. This is from long ago, and it's been sending a signal all this time, fading out. Approximately have to twenty get back years to old. Camp before the machines tear it apart. Corrupted data fragments detected approximately 20 years old. Catastrophic malfunction. Signal unit response. Now I gotta get back there and save those idiots. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back. Oh, I think I took out the cannon right there. Anyway, without that Ravager, Whoa. things will go a lot smoother. Yes. Uh, Roar the and ready. Are angry. I don't Keep your distance. Uh. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Now you'll hear my song. That's it. That's done then. This long hunt is over. Ooh, it'll burn. It's not over till it's over. Back to the Conclave. Back to Ban Ur. I suppose we should just be grateful this guy didn't wake up. Nora. Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs, but more for mourning. So what now? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Thirty-five seventy-eight. All right. So let's see how long this takes. <laughs> Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 
Okay, it's officially over a minute. Okay, so about a minute and a half, give or take. Talk to that bozo chuffed head. Tell him that his little expedition was a bust. And I think I'll call that for a video, and I'll see about what... To... No, actually, first I'll decide what we're going to do next. Then I'll go talk to that... Actually, no, I can do that on the elevator right up. I promise. These aren't goods. They're necessities. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Don't pass up these yep. goods. All right, elevator ride up. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work, keeping the city safe. Huh. Oh, it's peace. I guess actually honor the fallen. And then this one. I suppose it is faster just to cross this and then jump down to him. Mother always said, nothing good happens after sunset. My mother told me to steal the Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. <laughs> You came back. Uh, yeah. How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, uh -huh. take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? Huh. What do you want? Carja silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. You again. I never forget a face I've lost shards to. <laughs> Might as well try to sell maize to the Utaru. But another day, another opportunity. That one you I agree again. with. I never forget a face I've lost shot. All right, next. Honor the Fallen, and then that one. But that will be for our next mission. So, until then, this is JDogX211, coming at you with another Horizon Zero Dawn Challenge playthrough. Peace out, y'all. Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? <laughs> <laughs>